What is going on guys, it is WrestleAmia here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a top WWE star leaving if he doesn't win tonight. Brock Lesnar isn't gone from WWE. WWE announced a new title. Rikishi endorses Rhea Ripley. Roman Reigns gets a reporter kicked out of the press conference. The Rock confirms a major surprise for tonight. WWE bringing back the King of the Ring and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at a top WWE star leaving if he doesn't win tonight. Top of today's news on the WrestleMania Sunday is a shocking revelation from Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is set to challenge Seth Rollins for the world title on night 2 of WrestleMania XL tonight, yet during an appearance at WWE World yesterday, McIntyre spoke out and stated that if he fails to defeat Rollins tonight, he will officially leave WWE. This is an interesting revelation from McIntyre as it's no secret that McIntyre's WWE deal is set to expire and there's been no concrete news on whether he's re-signed. This could be the next evolution of McIntyre's story arc and it looks like his real life contract negotiations are about to be included in his storyline. Next up, Brock Lesnar isn't gone from WWE. A Triple H took to the floor for the post-show press conference last night and one of the names the game was asked about was Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has been seen on WWE TV since SummerSlam and he was removed from any creative plans for 2024 after he was linked to the Vince McMahon scandal, although not officially named. According to Triple H, Lesnar isn't gone from WWE and Lesnar is at home just being Brock. At one point there was a conversation with Brock about Royal Rumble quite a long time ago. Right now Brock is at home being Brock. We'll see where that leads to from here. His status is the same as it's been before. Brock is not gone from WWE, he's just home being Brock. It's worth noting that WWE have basically acted like Lesnar doesn't exist for the past 4 months, yet the game's comments do seem to hint that Lesnar will one day return to the company. Next up, who helped produce the WrestleMania main event? The WrestleMania Night 1 event was complete and utter chaos, and it acted as the perfect setup for tonight's Bloodline Rules match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. In terms of who produced the match, one of the names involved was the legendary Michael P.S. Hayes. Hayes produced the majority of Reigns' matches, so this shouldn't be too much of a surprise. The second key name in assisting in production duties was Bobby Roode. Roode has only been in the producer role for a brief period, yet the fact that he's now producing the main event of WrestleMania is a clear sign that he's excelling in this new role. Next up, will Cody Rhodes become a free agent? What happens if Cody Rhodes dethrones Roman Reigns tonight? Strictly speaking, Rhodes is assigned to the Raw brand, yet if he won Reigns' WWE title, this would surely mean that the American Nightmare would need to change brands. Well, according to Rhodes himself, while speaking to ESPN, the now multi-time WrestleMania main event has stated that he'll be on both Raw and SmackDown if he wins tonight. I said I'd like to be a champion who is present. What I mean to extrapolate, present where Roman was not frequently there. I want to wrestle on Monday Night Raw and I want to wrestle on Friday Night Smackdown. I want to be the champion like the champions I grew up loving. Guys like Terry Funk, Ric Flair and The Rock and Triple H. That championship defines the company and who is holding it. I use the term all the time. It's really how I feel. I wanted to play quarterback my entire career. Rhodes has hinted at changing the title design if he wins tonight, so a new incarnation of the WWE title could be about to debut. Next up, WWE announced a new title. Yesterday afternoon, WWE presented a widely acclaimed NXT Stand and Deliver event. One of the talking points of the celebrated event was the announcement of a new WWE title coming to the NXT brand. It was revealed in a promo package that the NXT Women's Division will be receiving its very own mid-card title. The title will be known as the NXT Women's North American title and this is a welcome move as fans have been pushing for WWE to introduce a mid-card title that is like the IC title or the US title for some time. It's unknown if WWE have any plans to introduce a mid-card title for the women's division on the main roster shows, yet hopefully this is in the works. Do you think a mid-card title for the women's division is a smart move? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Rikishi endorses Rhea Ripley. Ever since Ripley began to deliver stink faces on recent live events, she's been the talk of the wrestling world. Now the master of the stink face, Rikishi has endorsed Ripley using the move moving forward. Speaking on his podcast, the former IC champion stated, Rhea was backing it up, boy. She lifts them tights up, them wasabi. The wasabi, it was kind of wanting to do its own thing. She's doing her thing, man, and a big shout out to Rhea. It's funny to me to be able to see the new generation out there backing it up and keeping it going. Next up, a WWE legend still wants a mask versus hair match. 
Rey Mysterio is still pushing for a certain match before he calls it a day in the squared circle. Speaking to Sports Kida, the WWE Hall of Famer stated that he still wants a mass versus hair matchup against Dominic for his final match. I don't think I have an opponent in mind, but if I had to put all my marbles on the line, I wouldn't mind betting my mask against something big, something worth me winning for the very last time. I don't know who that is. I mean, would Dom put his hair on the line? Mass versus hair? Why not? Yeah, this might be a great option. The feud between father and son combination is still ongoing, and it even escalated last night with Mysterio and Andrade defeating Dominic and Escobar during night one of WrestleMania 40. Next up, Roman Reigns kicks a reporter out of the press conference. A Roman Reigns always likes to have fun with reporters at press conferences, and last night was no exception. When Reigns asked the sea of reporters to acknowledge him, one female reporter booed him. Upon hearing this, Reigns hilariously told the reporter to leave the press conference. When the lady didn't move, Reigns stated that if the reporter didn't leave immediately, then Reigns himself was exiting the press conference. The lady would eventually depart the press conference in no doubt the single most embarrassing moment of her career. Hell, no one was safe, even Chris Van Vliet. Next up, did The Rock almost tear his ACL? The Rock exceeded all expectations from his in-ring perspective last night, yet at one point it looked like The Rock almost tore his ACL. During his in-ring sequences with Seth Rollins, The Rock's knee appeared to buckle and he had the type of landing that numerous wrestlers have had when they've torn their ACL. Luckily, it looks like the final boss is perfectly okay. Next up, The Rock confirms major surprises for tonight. It's no secret that WWE are planning on certain legendary surprises for tonight. Names that have been thrown around include John Cena, Stone Cold, and even The Undertaker. The Rock was asked to comment on these so-called surprises on the Pro Show press conference last night, and the final boss stated, So yeah, you can expect the unexpected and a lot of surprises. Whilst The Rock isn't scheduled to wrestle tonight, it's a strong expectation that he'll be involved in the Bloodline Rules match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. What names would you guys like to see appear tonight? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE bringing back the King of the Ring. Next month, WWE will return to Saudi Arabia and the event will be hosting the King and Queen of the Ring. This news comes from the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer. The King and Queen of the Ring was originally set for May of last year, but that was until WWE scrapped the idea and proceeded with the Night of Champions show. The Saudi show will take place on May 25th and it's unclear if the show will be titled King and Queen of the Ring or the show will have an alternative name and will simply host the tournament. And finally, AEW to air All In footage. Now, our final story today takes a look at some truly shocking news from the world of AEW. Last night, it was announced that this coming week on Dynamite, the Young Bucks will present footage of All In, the show that infamously saw CM Punk get into a physical scrap with Jack Perry. This move has already been blasted by fans as it's seen as a desperate attempt to generate interest in the AEW product. The main question here is, what is the payoff? Punk is in WWE, so it's not like AEW can book a match between Punk and Perry to draw a rating or a buy rate. As things stand, this is not a joke of any kind, and according to Fightful Select, Tony Khan has indeed agreed to play the footage live on Dynamite. Many took this as being some sort of troll or bait, but everyone around the situation we spoke to at least claims that it is genuine and footage from the CM Punk Jack Perry altercation is expected to air. Specifically, it was reiterated to us by numerous people in AEW that the company isn't going to falsely promote something much less like that. Do you think this is a good idea from AEW on Tony Khan? Are you guys hyped for WrestleMania Night 2? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.